Hi, I'm Alex Inequi and this is Ekai's Musical Encyclopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. Today's word is acoustics, with my accent, so please, uh, acoustics. Anyway, so acoustics is uh, the study of sound and its properties. Um, in modern life, we tend to say that, wow, this hall has good acoustics. Wow, this church has horrible acoustics. But that's very relative. Why? Because usually one type of music uh, is, uh, one type of music benefits from uh, acoustics with lots of reverberation and other types of music benefit from acoustics without lots of reverberation. Ooh, my English today is compl complex. Anyway, you can do great experiment in, aco uh, in acoustics in your bathroom. If you sing in your bathroom, take all, all the towels from your bathroom and sing in it. You'll sound great. You'll sound like Maria Callas or Luciano Pavarotti. You put all the towels back, you put carpet there, you lose all of that um, reflex, all that reflection of the sound that hits the wall and comes back into your little tiny little ears and it sounds so wonderful, you sound like Pavarotti. Anyway, the same thing happens in halls, theater, halls, concert, um, concert halls, theaters, etc. You, um, for example, for a huge orchestra, you want a hall that is not too dry, meaning not, not a lot of carpet, but it can't be uh, too um, live, as we say, too live, too lively. Is that it? I think it is. So anyway, you don't want it to sound like in a church made of stone and marble and glass, because the, uh, for a big orchestra, the sound will get lost inside that cathedral. It will get all mushy and bleh. But if you have all carpet and velvet, you have problems too because the sound won't run and people in the last row will go like, what? Why, is, why isn't the orchestra playing loud enough? They are, but the sound is getting, the sound gets lost with all that velvet and carpet, okay? So, we have to be careful when we say, wow, this hall has great acoustics, because sometimes certain types of music won't benefit from that type of, of uh, acoustics. There's a reason why polyphonic Renaissance songs work in cathedral, cathedrals made of stone. They, uh, they, those pieces were composed thinking of thinking about that type of acoustics. So that's why it works better when you sing in a church. Um, if you sing it in a, ask anyone who has sung in choir, uh, sang a Renaissance in a choir, they hate singing in dry holes with velvet and, you know, velvet curtains and carpets. They go like, I can hear you. I can, we can hear each other because the sound gets all sucked uh, by the, the, the velvet, okay? So, uh, the same way, you don't want to put a rock band inside of a church. Why? Because the sound gets lost. <laughs> um, so, a dry hall is great for rock and roll and pop music because you have amplification, you have amplified sound, so you can fix the acoustics on the soundboard because you can add some reverb and it will change the acoustics artificially. Understand now? Whew. Ooh, that was complex. This is Ekai's musical encyclopedia and this was acoustics. Have you subscribed to the channel?